What is a modem? The purpose of a modem is to convert one type of signal to another, or rather analog to digital. The point is that all information around you is analog. You can understand the surrounding information and interpret it in different ways. How brightly the sun shine, how cold is it outside, etc. But digital technology cannot perceive analog information. It can only understand the sequence of zero and one. So you have to transform an analog signal transmitted over a telephone line or the air to digital. To connect the internet to your home, you need a modem. It's a small device usually installed by your provider and connects your home to the internet. The connection is via cable, coaxial or fiber optic, or telephone line, DSL. The connector usually is located on the back of the modem. The internet is already supplied to a computer or router via an ethernet cable. However, modems are not universal solutions. The kind of modem you need depends on the type of internet service you're receiving. If it's DSL, you need a DSL modem. If your ISP offers cable internet, you'll need a cable modem. For fiber, you get an optical network terminal, ONT, for converting fiber optic light signals into electrical signals that your device can recognize. There are other modem-like devices as well. What is a router? A router is a device for forwarding data packets from one or many networks. This process is called routing. This device is used to connect between a private network and the global. Choosing a modem is only half the battle because they usually only provide connections for one wired device. If you want to use wireless internet, you need a router. It's a device that allows you to use the internet on multiple devices simultaneously. Routers connect to your modem via an ethernet cable and pass the connection to other devices in your home via optional ethernet cables or wireless Wi-Fi. The routers come in two main flavors, standard one-piece and whole home Wi-Fi networks based on mesh devices. For small homes, one-piece routers are usually sufficient. Otherwise, you can always pick up a signal extender. For large houses, mesh networks are best suited. These devices replace a single router with multiple points called nodes. Strategically placed throughout your home, they connect seamlessly and provide coverage without losing speed or dead spots. The main set of functions that most routers have. Deploy a wireless network so that connected clients can access the WAN. Connecting many networks in one. Organization of cloud storage, media server. The ability to protect the network using a firewall. The ability to restrict access to specific sites to network clients. What are the differences between a modem and a router? A router and a modem are the same thing, or not? No, these are totally different devices, which unfortunately are often confused. Although some of today's modems have the function of a router, organization of a home network to which you can connect via Wi-Fi, a modem is, first of all, a signal translator. The router is designed to distribute internet traffic to all connected devices nearby. In general, a modem is a necessary device if your ISP provides internet over a telephone line or over the air. And a router is an optional device since, in extreme cases, the internet wire can be plugged in into the computer's network card directly. In this case, no translator is needed. Sometimes these devices can be combined. For example, you have the internet provided over a telephone line and you want to establish a home network. To do this, insert the cable into the modem and connect the modem to the router on which you configure the distribution of wireless internet. Which is better to choose, a router or a modem? I've already explained the difference between a modem and a router in simple terms above. These are totally different devices for different purposes. ADSL modems are outdated today as the internet provided over a telephone line is slow and it's better to choose wired or wireless internet. In the case of wireless internet, you need a USB modem and it's better to choose the newest one with 4G LTE support to ensure the highest speed of the incoming and outgoing signal. If you want to organize a home network to distribute the internet signal received by a USB modem, you need a router with a USB connector.